Hi guys, it's Mac and Pussy here and we're back with another song reaction and today we are going to be doing the song Screaming by Dimash Kudabergen. I basically said that I didn't like the first couple of songs that, that he had done because I felt like he was an excellent singer but it was a bit too performative and I didn't like that style of music. Then I went on to do My Heart Will Go On because I know the song better and I figured I can judge him better based on a song that I'm already familiar with. I, I also felt a bit cold with that, I felt it was a bit performative. And a lot of you guys said that I should check out this song, because in this, it does something a little bit different. So, we're going to check out Screaming, we're going to see if he pushes himself, if he can show a bit more emotion when he's singing. It's easy to sit here and say that he is the world's technical best singer. He probably is. Okay, he probably 100% is. I don't think he's very good at putting across emotion. When you look at other singers out there, for example, Tom York or Bjork or Jeff Buckley, I'm trying to think of some more examples, Freddie Mercury, Kurt Cobain, Eddie Vedder, they put forward emotive performances. Some of those are not the best singers in the world, some of them are fantastic singers, but what all of them have in common is that they put forward an emotive performance. You feel something when they're singing, and I don't feel anything when Dimash is singing at the moment, and I'm hoping this will change that. So that's why we're going in, we're going to do screaming. If he does screaming at this point, by the way, I am going to be mind blown. some heavy bass. Why did the track suddenly just get really, really compressed? Like it was building up from the start with a really deep bass and, and that was fine, that was fine. And then when the whole thing kicked in, it just it instantly just became really, really compressed and kind of tinny sounding, which is a shame. Like there's no, there was no reason for that to happen. Which is not a slight on Dimash in any way, obviously he's got no control over that kind of stuff, That's, this is more just me just thinking out loud, like why why the hell did that happen, but yeah, it was kind of just a bit strange, I'm going to make this bigger. Nope, made it smaller. I feel a China turn my heart in the Put up resistance to me so I let you go oh. But the Lord is such a soul Subsetting it Still far from me Brings me from the city deep I'm fighting to believe You remember me I'm screaming
He is actually putting across some emotion there. This is much better. Much better. I mean, it's still slightly performative, but it's less performative than what he usually does. And because of that, it's actually getting across some bloody emotion, which... Finally! I spoke too soon. Nope, I'm not getting on board with the rapping. That took me by surprise. Right, oh, you know what, right, that was... Sorry, that was an instinct that kicked in as soon as he started rapping because I wasn't expecting it. We'll go back now that I know he's about to kick in with the rapping. I'll give it another chance. That was purely, that was pure instinct that just went, nope. <laughs> and I'm sorry for that. Open-minded, open-minded. That is what, we're going to be open-minded. We're going to listen to the rap. <laughs> Did not see it coming. Okay, you're right, you know what, right, he can rap. I mean, I didn't understand the word of it, luckily it was subtitled. Didn't understand the word of it, but his flow, his cadence in that bit, perfect. He actually is quite a good rapper, but my god. God, I hate it when songs do that. It's a, it seems to be like a modern thing these days with pop songs where they just decide let's throw a rap section in there because urban music's quite big these days. I mean, he just about pulled it off because it turns out he does have the technical ability to pull it off. But just in general, as like an aesthetic thing to put into modern pop music, it's awful. It needs to burn. And it's not, it's not just him. They all do it. Everybody does it. It's absolutely ridiculous. Fucking sugar babes were having rap bits in their songs. Mental. It was mental. I apologise for that swear. I've just caught myself. I did swear. Sorry, guys. I'm sorry. I'm also telling jokes. I'm breaking all my own rules. I am breaking all of my rules. Oh... song's not good. I feel like he's a very good singer who makes awful song choices. I don't know why he keeps picking these songs. See if he came out and did, I don't know, Bohemian Rhapsody, Paranoid Android, something like that. Some Grace with Jeff Buckley. You'd be like, mate, you've smashed that. That's an incredible performance you've done of that song. But instead he's picked this. And it's it's just not good. Why can't you feel me? I'm screaming inside. to say, go away with No, I know there is sweet to be suspect. I know it's difficult, but can we try once more? I'm good to try this time. There's the other thing that, that kind of gets to him is that, like, technically, that's astounding that he can do that. But it doesn't service the song in any way. There's no need for it. He's got so many tools in his arsenal, but he feels the need to employ them at the wrong times. There's no need for him to have done that right there. It didn't bring anything. You guys have got to understand that I look at this stuff from an emotional perspective. Because I, when I'm listening to a song, I want to be moved. I want to feel something. 
I don't like just like picking on songs and being negative. I don't. But when I do listen to a song, I do want to feel something. See like your Hollywood biopics where it's about a guy overcoming a struggle and then the music swells up and it's getting to do a big hopeful bit and it's deliberately trying to jack your tears. It's so blatantly doing that that it kind of takes you out of the film. Same thing. Someone's Someone has thought somewhere, the producer of the, of the song, here's the bit where it swells up and then the mashes went, if I now go crazy high at this part, that's the part where everybody's going to cry. And it's just, it's so orchestrated to make me feel that it has the exact opposite desired effect. And then I feel like I have to, every single time I say something like that, clarify it by saying, yeah, but he's doing a technically astounding performance. He is! It's like you've got, it's like you've got Van Gogh to do a paint by numbers. I mean, he's enjoying himself. On you, death. Why can't you hear me? I'm screaming. You know what, right, that bit was quite nice because for the previous reactions I felt like he was quite kind of robotic, I felt he was quite kind of cold and standoffish. Here, he's shown a bit of personality. He seems like a nice guy here. And that was all I kind of wanted. Like when I'm watching a performance from someone, I kind of want to feel like, I've, like I know a little bit about them afterwards in a way. You watch the Devin Townsend video that we did, you come away from that knowing he plays on being arrogant, he's quite funny. You don't really get that with Dimash, but here, you're like, yeah, okay, he's quite... He enjoys singing, he's having fun. It looks like he's having fun for the first time since I've watched him. He likes his fans, he's down there and amongst his fans. That's nice. I like to see that. Which is all to say, I hate this song, but I kind of like Dimash at this point. Is that weird? It seems weird. <laughs> it seems weird to me. He seems like a nice guy. He, just, he seems like a nice guy. I'm sorry, I have been very negative about this song all the way through. Get ready to have your mind blown. I still think it's a terrible song, but I kind of like Dimash now. Yeah, he was always a good performer. Always a good performer. But now, it's a different side to him. It was a better side to him. See if he could channel that a bit more, but get rid of the kind of fucking the gimmicky shit and get better song choices in. He could be amazing. And I know, I'm aware, you guys already think he's amazing. But this is my opinion channel. <laughs> Where I give my opinion. And it's allowed to be different from yours. That was a good performance. That, I liked that. I liked that. That was Dimash Kudaibergen with the song Screaming. I've been Mark Busey. Thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you guys next week.